Do you want to see something really cool, something really powerful? I'm going to show you how to use pivot tables and pivot charts in Excel. So we have all this data for this store, a whole bunch of data. Now we want to find out how each employee is doing, how each product's doing at each store over time, things like that, how different sales approaches are working, satisfaction ratings. We have a lot of data here and we'd like to know the ins and outs of everything that's going on in our stores. The best way to do this is probably through pivot tables at this point. So how do we create a pivot table? Click anywhere in the data, hit Control A, and that'll select all of it. Unless you have adjoining columns or cells, then it'll select anything adjoining. Go to Insert on the left pivot table. Hit OK. It's going to create a new sheet with this here. Let me increase the font. There we go. And there's nothing in it. So we're going to drag some stuff into it. Let's drag, let's see, locations into the columns area, items into the rows area, and amounts into the values area. This immediately tells us how much we're selling, how much money we're making off of each item at each store. We could even do this by month. So I'll throw in date. It's going to give us this big mess, but I can right click and group by months. There we go, for September, October, November in Orem. September, October, November in Provo, etc. So at each store, I can find out how much we're making on each product each month. Very cool. I can even filter it. Let's say I don't care about um, candy and snacks. I can go here and filter by getting rid of candy and snacks. There we go. They're out of the view. I also don't care about non-Utah stores, so I can click on the column labels and sort out instead of date. Let's go to location and get rid of San Jose. Now we're just looking at Orm and Provo. Pretty cool. Now let's say I don't want to look at date. Get rid of date. Now it's Orm and Provo total sales of the last three months. What if I want to see how much I was making in Provo compared to Orm in terms of a percent? What I could do is right click the sum of amount show values as percent of row total. It looks like 72% of my sales are occurring in Provo when compared to Orm and Provo together. If I were to throw San Jose back in here, it changes. Now, considering San Jose in the equation, I'm only making 47% of all my sales in Provo. Still pretty good. Let's say I want to know who it was in Provo that sold the, let's see, bicycles. I could double click on this cell and I find out that Jeff and Jenny were the ones selling those bicycles. And I can sort it to find out, let's see, A to Z, it looks like Jeff sold the most. Look at that. Using this sales approach. That just opened up a new sheet down here. I'm going to go back to sheet 7, or whatever sheet your pivot table is on. What else can I do with this? Let's go to Let's see, sales reps, get rid of items, and we can see how much sales reps are making. Let's instead of doing summarize here, let's see, summarize values, no calculation. Okay, this is who's selling at each store. We'd like to know how much each person is making. So I'm going to get rid of location. And we can just see that Jeff is selling the most, then Sean, and so on. What if I want to see how much each person is making compared to Jeff, for example? I can go right here, right click, show values as, difference from, and set the base item to be Jeff. Hit OK. Jeff is now at zero, and everybody else is compared to Jeff. Looks like Tim is making 3100 bucks less than Jeff over the past two months. Very cool. What if I wanted to do this in a chart? Let me go ahead and reset show values as no calculation. Here we go, total sales over three months for these sales reps. Let's say I want to turn this into a pivot chart. I can go to Analyze, Pivot Chart, select my chart. Um, that one looks great. Let's do Columns, and here's my pivot chart. Looks like Jeff's huge sales are actually due to what happened in November. Interesting. So what I could do then is go click on Jeff in November 
Here's Jeff, November, and see what he was selling in November that made him so much money. Looks like it was this bicycle. In fact, he sold three bicycles in November, which made him a whole ton of money. Interesting. And you can see who the poor performers are as well. Or maybe these are those who just don't work as many hours. Who knows? Tim, for example, is making very little. Let's change this. Let's see, this is over time. So what if we wanted to see just Jeff over time and show this as a line graph? Click on the chart, then go to design and change chart type right here. And select line. Hit OK. Now the problem is we have date on the y-axis. Really date should be on the x-axis. Sales rep can be on the y-axis. And now we see that from September to October Jeff's sales were fairly stable but then in November he had a sharp increase. Very cool. You can do lots of stuff with pivot tables and pivot charts. Those are just some examples.